PIX 11'S Carson Cole is live in Stanhope, where the tornado there left behind a path of destruction. And it was indeed a confirmed tornado, correct, Kirsten? Absolutely was, Betty and Dan. This is actually progress here. Take a look at this house. A tree impaling the house, ripping down the deck as well. And this massive tree, no match for an EF1 tornado, packing winds up to 110 miles an hour. You can see the path of destruction. It literally reeked through this neighborhood. Such havoc. And today, they're expecting even more wild weather. This is the aftermath of a confirmed EF1 tornado in Stanhope, New Jersey. The National Weather Service confirming winds up to 110 miles an hour, 70 homes damaged, cars crushed, evidence of trees splintered or ripped from their roots. It is heartbreaking, very heartbreaking. We are all grateful no one got hurt. Um, it was very devastating to see your own property like that. We grabbed the dog and we ran downstairs. Lasted like 30 seconds, but scariest thing I've ever had to witness. And more wicked weather rolling through the Garden State on day two. Flash flooding, pounding rains reminiscent of Sandy, wind and hail. Tornado watches and warnings in seven counties expiring after eight hours and no sightings. The tornado's path of destruction evidenced in this carved out area along the neighborhood. This mother grateful that her son survived. There's a tree on his bed right now. The fire department said a miracle happened in our house last night. Not only did these storms blow up over the neighborhood, it could have likely blown up a real estate deal. You're looking at a house that had just been sold. The family planning on moving to North Carolina. They were meant to go to their real estate closing today. Instead, they're having to work on tree damage, how to pull their lives together, and now their plans have been put on hold. So many people facing that same issue here in Stanhope, New Jersey, and they're also waiting to see what happens with day three of of the wild weather. We are live in Sussex County. I'm Kirsten Colpix 11 News. But you know what, Kirsten? They are alive, and that's the good thing, okay?